Welcome to Benny and Beyond in Ireland. Join us as we take our van Benny along the wild Atlantic way, visiting Ireland's beautiful landscape, incredible cliffs and the truly wild Atlantic. Good morning. Morning. We've fucking up in, don't remember the name, I'll pop up on screen. I want to say Bonane Heritage Park. That sounds, that sounds about right. Sounds correct, but you'll know. It'll be on the screen. But we had a lovely sleep. We were sheltered with trees. The wind has died right down today. Like it's, you can hear us. It's still. <laughs> you can hear. I don't know if you can hear it. Just bits. Bits in the background. There's a waterfall somewhere to our left. Yeah. So this morning, it is a, it's a two kilometre walk. So um, join us on this walk, I guess. Yeah. Just stretch our legs a little this morning. Yeah. Oh, and you'll see Benny. Somewhere back there. She is down there. It's me, but in Gaelic, I assume. Look at that. Meant to be, mate. Meant to and be. it's the easiest walk, so happy with that. She loves an easy walk, I do. Come on. back to the van. Quick 30 minute walk. There was definitely options for um, if we wanted a bit of a longer walk but we just wanted to stretch our legs this morning. We have some things to crack on with. So today's plan yes. is... Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start again. <laughs> okay, you didn't start. No. <laughs> today's plan is, because the weather has improved, is to hopefully do the whole ring of Kerry. If not, half and Think stay the, the night I know or stay the night on the ring of carry which would also be very cool that'd be nice I'm just worried that the weather will turn again tomorrow yeah I think we've only got today as the window yes for the I think the, the wind comes back yeah before that though before that though we have to go do some laundry yep we managed to fill up our water here so that is something ticked off we try to do it for three days yes just running lower and lower yeah or frozen pipes things like that but the wind i mean now the weather is i think it's about 10 degrees oh, it's not warmer higher. yeah oh, it's like summer Kerry, but unfortunately, the weather, nice weather, didn't come with us. It's supposed to get better later, later today. Yeah, and tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny. We are where are we at again? Derry Nane House and Gardens. Every clip starts with me asking where we are. Yes, we've got our thin waterproofs on. Yeah, little pack coats. It's a, um, it's closed. The house, yes, um, it's closed out of season, but the gardens is 300 acres yes. of land, open year uh, yeah, and that's open year round, free parking. So, stretch our legs a bit yeah. and have a look at this sign, see what's going on. I think we're gonna go here through this bit of woodland, cross this top road, hit the toilets. <laughs> yeah, mission number one. Mission number one is get fit on a toilet, and depending if they're open. Whichever way back. And head along the shoreline back to the car park. She's on the way to find the loose. I don't know how we did it, but we've, we were, half of our walk was on the road. Yes, considering there was 300 acres of woodland to explore, I'm not sure how we've managed we it. Picked the the one that was just on a main road. But um, if we found the sea, then. we're now at the beach, which is lovely. Oh. So we're going to have a beach walk, I think. And the smell. Oh, I know. The smell oh. of the sea, I love it. I feel like 
Cooper in that film with Daniel Radcliffe. Black. Oh. The woman in black. Woman in black. That's what I feel like. It's so atmospheric here. And the fog, thick fog doesn't help. Yes, I feel like we're the woman in black. Home sweet home. So we just got back from the walk. Lovely walk. I really enjoyed it. 40 minutes seems to be our sweet spot. Yeah. Any longer than that and we're like, uh like a bag. <laughs> So now we're obviously back in the van. So we are gonna head further round the Ring of Kerry to Port McGee. <laughs> That's better. Due to heavy fog, we decided to find a spot for the night and wait for the sun to arrive the next day. But straight off the bat, we got greeted with a monstrosity of a hill climb. Didn't stop Benny though. Island and honestly I can say it's a well worth it spot for the Ring of Kerry to stop off at. The landscape along the Ring of Kerry itself is beautiful. It's well worth it if you're doing a trip to Ireland. It's absolutely beautiful. It's 179 kilometers I think and honestly the whole way around it's just like one after another beautiful spots and we're finding ourselves stopping like every two seconds to want to take photos and I have to say I am so glad that we waited just that extra day to let the fog roll out because the blue skies we are getting today are well worth it. I could honestly sit here all day and look at this view. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just uh, left Valentia Island and oh man, what a beautiful place it was. The views from there were incredible, Just, thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, it was well worth the little detour. Definitely. It's, and it's a lot bigger than it looks. It almost doesn't even look like an island when you approach it, it looks like no. it's just separated by a lake or something. Go to the next town now. Caja uh, Savine? Uh, I don't know if I've said uh, that correctly. There we go. And aim now is to look for showers. As you can tell, Reese is feeling very rough. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not feeling 100% now. Whatever she had, she's given to me. Oops. Yeah, thanks now. So we've just driven through Caja Savine. We stopped at the supermarket. Van, mate, make a decision. Door open or door closed? <laughs> door closed. Just door open? Yeah. Just door closed. Oh, I need the keys. Can I have the keys? <sighs> yeah. It's windy now. So, yeah, we just driven through the car to be, we stopped at the supermarket, the van got dinged by some idiot who just swung open his car door. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so um, not best pleased about him dinging the van, but it is what it is. We've now come to, I think this is Ballycastle. Stop, I'm trying to talk. I think this is called Ballycastle. I'll put it up on the screen where we are. Gorgeous little park up. Would be beautiful to stay here at night. And uh, we're gonna have some pot noodles for lunch. Oh, good, healthy, balanced diet. They're not even pot noodles, they're the Aldi ones, but they're oh, better. Oh, you're back again. I'm going to hand you over to Reese now, because he's going to show you what this castle ruins look like. It's a really sick spot, isn't it? Yeah. This is a gem of a spot, but the castle ruins are closed off for health and safety. A shame, but understandable.
dinner tonight we have made sort of a makeshift quick curry i had some of this rogan josh spice paste left that i wanted to use up so we've just put it with some chicken some rice and some veg and we also had wraps that needed to be used up so we're gonna make some weird burrito wrap things it's, it's kind of one of those meals where you just use what's left in the cupboard Well, not quite. I don't know, what time is it now? Seven minutes to twelve. <laughs> oh, good morning! We have been, we've been up and about for like hours to be fair. So what did we do this morning? We visited Dingle, which honestly I'd recommend. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. We saw a sign going, going in, number one foodie town in Ireland. Yeah. And I believe yeah, it. There was a lot there to be fair. More like a um, takeaway um, like bites. Gra grab as you go, eat as you go type of. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. there might have been more restaurants there that we didn't see, maybe towards the you know, more in the alleys, but it was. Yeah, it was really I bet nice. in the summer it is bouncing up there. Because, it seems like one of those towns. Yeah, it's and it's full of independent business. We didn't see one chain restaurant, did we? They were no, all independent. Yeah, very the uncommon. Only, the only chain was like the supermarket, which is quite common. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we really enjoyed walking around Dingle. We got a sausage roll from a little oh, bakery. Yeah. Which oh, really was delicious. Cute as well. It was good. Good the sausage roll. The pastry was lovely. Thoroughly enjoyed. Stopped off at this unbelievable spot. Probably maybe the best spot we've seen so far. This is on the Sleahead Drive on the Dingle Peninsula. Well worth it for the drive. It's really beautiful. The There's lots of huge. viewpoints. Yeah. It's really gorgeous. There's a car park down there. Do you see that? Just by the beach? Oh, uh, yeah. There'll be a sick park up in uh, the we, summer. Should we go down there and have a look? There he goes. Off to film some clips. It's like Baywatch, this. It's Reese the Hoff. <laughs> just arrived at our park up for the evening it's a really lovely spot actually we've got views of the mountains across the sea from us we are a little bit exposed so hopefully the wind isn't too bad tonight we were near the cd was it last night yes and it wasn't too bad no it was hitting us face on which is what we've done tonight yeah yeah so fingers crossed we should be okay behind us is a pub which we're not usually this close to anything civilization but it's called the tankard and apparently it's also a really nice restaurant attached to it yeah the reviews are really good yeah so we might give that a go later <laughs> After a rather windy morning, today we have to catch up on some errands. Not every day is exciting exploring, some days you just do the weekly food shop in Aldi, do your laundry and find showers at the local leisure centre. And by then it's time for dinner. Easy as that. Sorry there. <laughs> we sat in the car, f well the car, sat in the van for a while. It started to rain as soon as we were about to hike, because of course it did. Um, <gasps> So, where was I? <laughs> um, Fuming, I need a wee so bad. And they're locked. Yeah, like, there's literally a tourist sign that says public toilets. I mean, that's what we get for travelling in January. No, a toilet is a necessity all year round. It is. That's how I feel. I get you. <laughs> I'm on my soapbox now about toilets. Moving on, uh, we're on a walk. Yeah, um, it's the Kilkey oh, Cliff shit. Walk, there you go. I want to say. Um, it's supposed to only be half an hour, 45 minutes, well, well, actually it's not, but we're only doing the short walk. If you do the whole loop, it's an hour and a half. Yeah. So we're just doing the slightly shorter there and back walk. <laughs> to see 
what the cliffs of Moher look like if this is what Kilkee looks like. Right. Because the cliffs of Moher, which are further up the coast from where we are currently, are supposed to be incredible, amazing. So this is beautiful. We are three minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> We've stopped about 10 times. And it's already incredible. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what a walk. Thoroughly enjoyed that. It's the kind of walk where in these surroundings it makes you feel alive. It's it's just it's such a short walk, you get to see some, some beauty. Oh, the most beautiful cliffside. Yes. Like the rain is lashing down, the wind is howling, the waves are crashing against the rocks. I I I just didn't expect the water in Ireland, even in January to be so blue. I know. It's it's gorgeous. I can't imagine what it's like in the summer. Um, so we are now making our way back. My yeah. face hurts from smiling so much. <laughs> <laughs> After the walk, we enjoyed our bagels with a view and then got onto the road. But not for long before we found a lost dog. Got a new bird. Hiya. Hello, let's go find your home. Where's your home then? Hey. We paid 20 euro for two tickets into the cliff site and visitor centre. Unfortunately, they were doing building work on the exhibition. It's wet. I don't know what to expect here. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous now, the floor's all wet. Same. doesn't help, no, so, they should do the work after hours. Uh, what do you think about the, the, the 4D experience? <laughs> it was a bit nah. It was a bit, it was... It was about two minutes. It was two, yeah, it was two minutes, a couple of fans. Yeah. There's someone with a water gun, but that's, yeah. <laughs> that's what it felt like. And every time I got sprayed with water, I went... <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. Um, yeah, but. I just... But it's, a, it's a tourist trap. Yes, it is, and it does annoy me a little bit that you cannot access the cliffs without yeah. paying to come here. I'm Hopefully still having a great day. We haven't even looked at the cliffs yet, so no, that should make I'm up still having a great day. So. I've had a great day so far, yeah. and I managed to get some bits in the gift shop. Of so. course, obviously. <laughs> I've had a look at the cliffs and they look amazing. I feel like to get a first look. Oh, wow. Oh, look at them with the sun over them. Oh, they are big, aren't they? <laughs> Much bigger than the ones we saw this morning. for miles. If you can see just to this little cliff edge here. It goes around. See there's like a, a little, I wouldn't even call it a path, but a man just came up to us and having a chat and people cycle across it. They upsail down with their bikes and cycle along this cliff edge. Right by there. Uh, that. You mad? Sheer drop. Okay, so some facts I have about the cliffs of Moher. Not many, to be fair. The cliffs themselves actually stretch for 14 kilometers across County Clare. And they were formed over 320 million years. And you can see so vividly here, the layers in the rock formation and how each layer almost represents like a chapter of the cliff's life and how it was formed and what went on at that time. It's really cool and it is worth a stop. Once we'd explored the cliffs of Moa, we headed inland towards the Burren for our park up.
thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. In next week's video, we explore the Burren National Park, one of the most unique and eerie places we've ever been before. We also head to Galway to get a taste of the city during a Six Nations weekend.